What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through the auto loot filter, uh, what it does, why it is important to you, and how to set it up. Now first things first, the auto loot filter can be found under your gameplay settings uh, right here, auto loot filters. What this is going to do is it's a great quality of life combination between Dungeon Defenders 1 and Dungeon Defenders 2. And that is we are going to be able to choose what items are automatically looted off the ground and what items automatically just get sold right off the ground and we get the gold for it in return at the end of the wave. Now, the auto loot filter is majorly important. You're gonna to wanna to set this up before you even get things started in your playthrough. So we're gonna go through what I use for my auto loot settings and then what you should use if you're a brand new player just starting the game. So let's hop right on in and take a look at the auto loot filter. Now going through each individual tab, um, this is the way I have mine set. First off, as a general rule, um, I want to not pick up any items that have at least 390 upgrades on it. So anything 390 upgrades or above will be auto-looted. Uh, everything else will be left on the ground. Now this is just a general setting that applies to all items. So we are going to fine tune this as we get through into the other tabs. Under quality settings, uh, I personally am not interested in anything at all except a godly gear, so everything else that's not godly can just be auto-sold. On the elements tab, I always want to make sure every item that has fusion on it is going to be auto-looted, so any weapon that has fusion damage uh, will be auto-picked up no matter what. And then for weapons, I want any of these weapons to be an option here. Now there is one big problem with the weapons, and we'll get into that in just a moment, and that is with these offhands. Now taking a look at armor, I want everything selected for armor as well. Now by me having always include fusion, that is always going to also going to include a fusion armor set. So if it's a fusion armor set that you collected from Rifted, all of these items will be automatically looted. None of them will be left on the ground. And then we've got accessories, which are our brocer, or brooches, bracers, masks, and pets. Uh, I've got all of this selected because I always want every pet to be auto-looted, and I always want to include every accessory. So I personally will go through my inventory manually and get rid of all of any pet that I don't want that's a low roll or just isn't ideal, and any accessories I don't want. Now, with these settings, there's a couple of really big problems. First off, Squire Shields. Uh, if we take a look at our Squire Shields, they have been in the game for a while. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Well, let's just pop on my Squire and do it the easy way. Uh, so, as far as Squire Shields go, these were already in the game before, before the offhand system came in. And these are considered by the game as an accessory. So in our loot filter, since we've got always include accessories, it will always pick up squire shields. And there are there's abundant squire shield drops, so you're always going to have your inventory spammed with squire shields. Now this is one big problem with the loot filter. Now additionally with offhands, the regular offhands are considered a weapon. Now Obviously, since this is just a generic weapon, it doesn't meet the quality of requiring 390 upgrades for it to be auto-looted. So none of these offhand items will be looted, which means you're going to want to run around and pick any of them that you want to keep up off the ground. Now, as you see, I've got some kind of junkers here, but as a general rule, I do a quick glance around, and if I don't see at least 200 upgrades on it, I usually don't even bother looking any further. Now, that's not necessarily a rule of thumb. Everyone should stick by uh, as high stat rolls can be much greater than upgrades. However, that's just a general rule that I've been following. So I do run around and have to manually pick up any of those offhand items as they drop throughout play. Now, when you are a brand new player just starting the game, uh, as you would just pop in, you wouldn't want anything on your general tab selected. So leave everything unselected here on the general tab. 
on the quality tab, you would want everything selected. Now this means that the very first map you do, literally everything is going to be looted as there's no minimum quality requirement as far as the upgrade levels or the level requirements and we've got everything selected. Now under elements, uh, it's I find that it's very important to never check any of this stuff except always include fusion. Now, if you're a brand new player to the game, you're probably not going to be doing Rifted mode, so there's no reason to even have that select. However, it's just good practice to always include fusion with every one of your loot filter settings. Under weapons, you want everything selected. Under armor, you want everything selected. And under accessories, you want everything selected. Now, this means as you're playing through the game, we've got no other limitations. So you're a brand new player just starting. Literally everything that drops is going to be auto collected. So your inventory is going to get spammed full every single run. You're going to have a, at least a full page of new inventory items. Now, what this means is as you're playing through, when all of your characters get a full set of common gear, uncheck common gear. When all of your characters get a full set of uncommon gear, uncheck that and so on and so on, and work your way up through your progression. Uh, once you get to the point where you say you're doing insane mode, and all you want to look at is legendary gear, you can leave these four categories unselected, and that means anything that's common, uncommon, rare, or epic that's on the ground at the end of the wave will just be auto-sold. Now, as I mentioned, there is problems anytime you bring any requirements in as far as upgrade range for offhands. Additionally, those Squire Shields are still considered an accessory, so they are always going to be picked up, and you're going to end up having way too many Squire Shields, which, of course, you can just quickly go through your inventory and sell all of those. So, hopefully that helps everyone get a general understanding of the Auto Loot Filter and how it works in Dungeon Defenders Awaken. The most important thing, once you get everything edited, make sure you hit apply because if you don't hit apply nothing will get saved so uh, that will do it for now thank you all an absolute ton for watching and i will see you next time around take it easy